Well, it's happening. Come July, I'm going to be leaving uh, Yuma permanently. I'm waiting for July because that's when my money all comes together and I should be able to handle it. Uh, I checked on uh, the train. It cost me, oh, roughly about $300, $350, depending on how much I eat, to go from here to L.A., and then from L.A. to Las Vegas. Yeah, I even got on the computer, looked around Las Vegas for a place that uh, I can call home. Well, after spending two or three days, <laughs> all I could find out is, uh, yeah, I'm going to be losing money going to Vegas. And then all of a sudden I put Las Vegas veteran. There's a motel that uh, apparently sold out. I think it was a Motel 6, at least that's what it looked like. That uh, sold out, dilapidated. This uh, man came in. Everything was donated. The wood, the plastic, everything was donated. He made it into a veteran's home. It houses, oh, I think he said like 50 people. And it's just a couple blocks away from the strip. And uh, I text him. And I did a little bit more research and he had a 20-minute uh, video as to what he did to that motel for the veterans, for the homeless vets. Well, I called him up, left him a message, gave him my name, my phone number, and what my uh, heart desires are. And uh, next morning, about 9 o'clock, he called, he called me. And uh, we talked for a little bit. I told him I was 66 years young. young. <clears throat> and he started laughing. He goes, yeah, you are a youngster. Right now, the uh, advertisement that you've seen is basically for the Koreans, for the Korean uh, veterans. You know, the guys that are 80 years old, 85 years old, that's been having a rough time dealing with uh, Obamacare and health care and dealing with the VA. We're taking them under our wings and with what Trump's doing, we've changed quite a few lives at that uh, area. So I told him, I said, well, that's great. Looks like I'm just going to have to wait 20 years and then give you a call. And he started laughing, and he goes, no, nah, no, nah, here's a name, and he gave me a lady's name and her cell phone number. Cell phone. Not the office number, her cell phone number. I did not know it at the time. I found out when she called me back. But uh, I called the number and left the message. You know, my name is Eugene Taylor. I'm 66 years old. I am a veteran. Spent 20 years in the Marine Corps. Retarded in 1990. Living in Yuma. Tired of the people here. Love the weather. Love the desert. But the people here, I'm not making any difference at all. It's all drugs and beer. And I've been here for 10 years and The people I've known throughout that whole time, it's just a cycle, and I'm tired of the cycle. So I'm thinking about going to Vegas because it's still in the desert. I've been there about 12 times being in the military, going through Top Gun. But to live there was, you know, a little bit scary without knowing anybody at the other end. You know, I didn't want to go there blind. Well, she popped up, 
and told me that uh, she knows of a place that is all veterans. You know these um, uh, shipping carts, you know, the great big ones that they put on uh, boats? Well, they convert them. They convert them to apartments. And they can put 10, 15 in a stack, one on top and one another, run stairs up, and they make uh, apartments out of them. Single, double, family type apartments. And I told her, I said, well, to me, I just want a single apartment, you know, with a bathtub, because I enjoy taking baths. Can't take a bath here, it's all showers. And uh, I kind of laughed and told her I had my first bath in over 10 years <laughs> when I went to the casino and got a room for the night. And that bathtub just, oh geez, it was too small. I couldn't relax in it. But I took a bath. Anyway, she started laughing and she gave me the uh, ordeal for it. Now, I believe the rent is somewhere around five a month, which should not be a problem whatsoever. I told her about the Wi-Fi thing, and I checked in uh, the Wi-Fi. I can still get Wi-Fi, just like I got here. Marine Corps 1990 is my uh, name on my Wi-Fi. And, uh, in fact, it would probably be cheaper going there because when I called Central Link, they told me that's a different area. But because I purchased a Wi-Fi box for $120, it's a universal kind. So all I got to do is get a phone line assigned to me and I got my Wi-Fi back. So she told me that it's uh, $925 to move into one of these um, shipping carts that they've converted into apartments. And I asked about the location. She says, well, we're right up the street from uh, two franchise casinos. And what I mean by that is they're spin-offs from the strip which is fine with me you know they got uh, uh, bonus cards and that kind of stuff so it'll be like going at home and I got my choice of two of them the restaurants around there he said are fabulous but I may not need them and I says what do you mean they have a food service that comes twice a week I get canned goods, I get meats, I get this, I get that, I get bread, I get bagels, I get coffee. It's probably not Folgers, so I'll probably swap that. But anyhow, it is 100%. Everybody that goes to this complex is a veteran. In other words, I feel like I'm going home and I'm going to be surrounded by vets and uh, I told her I watched a video from uh, the other place and she goes oh we're set up pretty much the same way we got an area that we got a little concession stand the coffee we got tables and chairs and a lot of the guys just go out there their Wi-Fi reaches there and uh, I've heard some pretty interesting stories. And <laughs> I told her about my 143 things on YouTube. And uh, she goes, well, that gives me a couple months to learn about you. And I said, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And then uh, she asked me what my plans were. And I told her, I said, well, I'm planning on coming to Vegas in July. And I'll be going there by train. So how far is the 
complex in the train station because I don't want to be taken advantage of by some taxi driver, you know, charging me $50 to go a mile and a half. And she popped up and she goes, you do know your way around, don't you? Yeah, sure do. She says, well, you tell me your train schedule when the time comes, and I'll pick you up. Whoa, really? Well, depending on the time of day, we can have coffee or sodas or milkshake or whatever, you know. So she just told me to text her when, uh, you know, the day before and give me the uh, time that the train's going to pull into the station and that she'll be there and we swap pictures. You know, I sent her my mug shot and she sent me her mug shot. And I said, uh, well, oh, this happened a little bit before because I said something about her phone number. And she goes, oh no, you're talking to me on my cell phone. Whoa, that guy gave me your cell phone number? I don't pass out numbers. And uh, she popped up and she goes, well, he normally doesn't either, so he must have said something that uh, sparked him to do it. Oh, well, don't get mad at him. Oh, no, I won't. I won't. He's done it to me before. I said, oh, okay. Okay. And nothing's happened. She goes, nope. In fact, I got two new friends that uh, stay there. You'll meet them. Not, okay. Well, in a way, I'm kind of wishing that uh, I could get there sooner. But uh, due to my situation right now, I won't be able to afford everything. You know, the uh, moving and, uh, and that kind of stuff. You know, I want a couple thousand dollars when I get there. Beyond uh, 925, I give up to move in there. But. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm going to be around vets, I'm going to be around my own people, which to me is just utopia, top of the iceberg. I don't have to worry about the civilian trash, and that kind of stuff, and it's going to be interesting. So anyways, I just thought I'd throw this out, I'm going to throw something on Facebook, let everybody know that I'm moving to Vegas. So, I'm planning on taking a knapsack and a little, I don't know, probably 40 pound suitcase. And then I got another box here that I'm going to put stuff in. And Terry, who's taking over this place, she's going to. I'm going to give her 20 bucks to mail it as soon as I text her my address. That way I'll have everything I need. So, anyways, I'm really looking forward to living in Vegas. I'll still be in the desert, still be in the heat, still be in the, you know, year-round decent weather. Because Vegas doesn't get that cold during the winter. Well, it gets colder than it does here, but it doesn't get it as cold as it does in New York or down there in Florida, and I don't have to worry about storms either. Of course, it does rain a little bit in uh, uh, Las Vegas, but I can adapt to that. That's no big deal. So anyhow, answer to prayer. At least I'm getting rid of all the drug addicts and dealers and uh, drunks that uh, I've tried to make a difference here, that no difference whatsoever. All it is is a vicious circle. They get in trouble, they get cleaned up, they're released, they go right back into the drugs. Vicious circle, three, four, five times. So anyways, uh, that's all I got for now. This will be posted yeah, probably next 10, 15 minutes. Outside of that, have a beautiful day. God bless.